Nursery Rhyme authors Todd and Jackie Courtney travel all across the country with their business. So they want an RV with room enough to showcase their books. Oh, and they've got three active teenagers, so they need lots of room, period. We travel the country promoting our new children's book series, Inspirational Nursery Rhymes. And when the problem has been dealing with airports and delays in airplanes and weather, we've just decided it's just easier to have something like an RV that we can put everything in and we can go town to town, city to city, and it will also allow us to have a showroom for our books as well. And also we can take the kids with us. And if, as long as it has an extra bath, which I'm not quite sure they have, and also the washer and dryer. We yeah. have to have the washer and dryer. Yeah, we can ask about that. With a family of five, this adventurous group really needs space for a lot more than just groceries. But why is the washer dryer really so important? Well, she thinks the washer and dryer are important because when we're on the road doing book tours, she believes we're all gonna pitch in to do laundry. However, she's gonna be doing the laundry by herself just like she does at home. Yeah, nice try, <laughs> nice try. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Hi, Hi. Todd. How are you? Nice to meet you guys. We sure appreciate you guys coming in today. I'll tell you what, we've got a lot of exciting things to look at. What are you, what are you kind of looking for, you guys? This place is huge. I want something with the comforts of home, for sure. Oh, is that fun? Well, yes. we, we can certainly find that one for you. I've got over 400 RVs here for you to look at. Wow, that's unbelievable. Guys, now, let me show you the number one selling RV toy hauler the Outlaw. Jackie, Todd, wow. come on in, check this out. This is amazing, this is gorgeous. I love this kitchen. Isn't that fantastic? Look at the solid surface countertops, your custom cherry wood cabinetry. Look at the stone backsplash. Love That's that. fantastic. Check out the fridge. Okay, that could be a little bit of a problem, honey, for our family. Hold on, I just had an idea. Think about this. The comfortable chairs these are. I'll these are this great. While you're up there driving, I'm sitting there <laughs> writing more nursery rhymes. <laughs> Not me all driving. The books I could write. That is true. We could do amazing <laughs> things right here. This is yeah, this is awesome. Todd, I didn't see a washer dryer. Oh no, I saw them out back. I made sure of it because I wanted to make sure you didn't have to use the old-fashioned washboard. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, check this out. Look how much space there is here for writing. Todd, hold on a second. Grab the t computer table there. I want you to lift it straight up and bring it back to you. Now you got a workstation. Oh my God. I think they built it just for authors. Isn't that fantastic? This is awesome. Jackie, you can drive this. This Triton V10 Ford is easy to drive. Women love to drive this. They almost drive themselves when you put it on cruise control. Guys, we have this one on sale right now. Over $48,000 off under 125 grand. You think that's exciting? Wait till you see the next one we've got coming up. I'm gonna take care of your fridge needs on the next one. The outlaw was nice, honey, but the only problem is that refrigerator is too small for a family of our size. Got the refrigerator, oh, okay, look at that. What do you think? Little, a little small, small, unless little you're small. gonna take me out to dinner yeah. every yeah. night. <laughs> Yeah, but think about the dinette table. That was big, we can use that for, for the books and writing, and plus the office. You know, it's got the computer sure. table right there in the front seat, uh, and all you gotta do while you're driving is put on cruise control, because Tim said, you know, <laughs> the RV drives itself, so you can just take a nap while nice. I'm sitting there writing books. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know, we can always see what else uh, they have and uh, see right. what Tim can offer. So with the Courtney's wish list being a residential refrigerator, a washer dryer, perhaps a second bath, and room for their books, let's check in as their search continues. America's number one toy hauler fifth wheel sold in America. This is the Cyclone. I love it. Jackie, Todd, come on in. Check out, here's your second option of what we were talking about. <laughs> Check out all the features on this RV. This is so cool, you guys. Look at the refrigerator. This is about the size of the one that you've got at home. That's gonna take care of all the needs for the whole family, right? Now, if I take up the master bedroom, look at that, you've got a stackable washer dryer, pre-plumbed, a queen walk around bed. Look at the mahogany wood in here. It is gorgeous. In the master bath, you've got a one piece shower. It is fantastic. Easy to take care of, we love that. You get down here in the living room, you can seat up to eight people in the living room. Look at the size of that TV. You've got a fireplace in the living room too. And this kitchen counter space, look at the size of it. The loft for the kids up top, they're gonna love that one, that's their space, right? And back in the garage, after you take the toys out, you got two more sofas that come off the walls. Jackie, 
Check out the bathroom in the back. There's your second bathroom for the kids. We're keeping them out of the master bath. Take a look at this, guys. Over $13,000 off. It's on sale at $84,151. 20% customer equity down and payments under $500 a month. You can write off all the interest as a second home deduction. So what did you think about the Cyclone? I loved the size of the refrigerator and the fact that the washing machine and dryer are in the master bed. Yeah. I love that. And I like the fact that there's an extra bath. So I think we've narrowed it down to two after looking at so many. Yes. The Outlaw, what did you think? And I loved it. Yeah, and you can drive that one. The only, there's only one problem I saw with the Cyclone. What's that? It doesn't have a motor. So you would have to drive a truck or I'd have to drive. Mm. Uh, however, True. that one feels better. For me, it's, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. It, uh, you walk in, I feel better, I feel more inspired. To me, I feel like I just want to write more okay. books while I'm in that one, if something calls me about it. Um, and I just feel like it's going to do, uh, it's going to allow us a lot more freedom to get out there on the road and, and get these books into more children. Okay, that's a tough one. It's between the two. I think we need to yeah. get the kids and bring them back here. Yeah, see what they think? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, it's a tough decision. Yeah. yeah.